Diversity to the Front End Alignment Hack Project. I, um, one day I was going to take off my upper control arms, uh, on the right side of the upper control arm, no, on the left side was the upper control arm, on the left, on the right side was the pigment arm, and um, both of these had bushings, and by the um, control arm adjusters, there was still um, the factory type of adjuster that came with the vehicle. Um, at some point you should change these out. But I ended up taking them out, taking the whole control arms off the pivot arm on the right side of the Ford Explorer. And I, I was trying to get the bushings out, I was just going to replace the bushings. And um, that did not work, so I was going to stretch, stretch them out a little bit until I was able to um, get the whole um, unit. When I put the um, adjusters back, they were on backwards. I remember making it down to Firestone, my, my tires were squeaking like crazy, and I had to kind of hold my steering wheel to keep the keep my vehicle um, going straight. I made it to Firestone, and Firestone did not want to give me an alignment because um, I had the adjusters on backwards, and they didn't want to fool with that. They, they probably could have, but they, they didn't want to fool with that. So I ended up driving all the way back home, probably took 15 minutes to get back home, squeaking tires all the way. So I finally um, went over and um, reversed the um, adjusters and I did the uh, front end alignment myself. Well, I, I got my tires straight myself by putting two jacks up on the front and taking my tire rod ends and um, spinning them until I noticed that my, 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 my tires were coming straight. I had to do them one at a time, the, the left side and the right side. I had to go at the back of the vehicle and look straight under the vehicle and see if the back tires were lined up with the front tires and I would stand under the um, front of the vehicle from a distance and, and I noticed that the, um, the front tires, um, you, you can see whether or not the, um, they're, uh, they're, uh, uh, they're slanted. So I adjusted my tire rods according, um, just, just by eye, just by looking at it. And once I let the vehicle down and drove it, um, the squeaking was gone. So I was able to go to work and uh, finally uh, I went in and got my, my alignment done. So this is my um, front end alignment hack. My tie rod till it gets over. It's over here to the slot that goes in there. On the steering nickel. And um, that gave me a pretty straight um, lineup. And I'm also going to look from the rear. So um, I already got this adjusted and uh, where I want it, it was just to show you what I did. I um, took this nutter loose and I was able to take my outer tie rod and wind it over until where I, I believe my tire looks pretty straight and just um, inserted both tie rods in then tighten them down you just got them get this out just a little here got my tie rod in there and I'm gonna screw it down and I put my nut on there and my pin in, in place and now that should give me a, a pretty uh, smooth ride until I can get and get my free alignment. But um, that's how I got my tires aligned. Look at it from the rear. Looking at them from the rear. Just do one side. You can't see, you can't tell by the camera, but um, from my side they look like they're they're, they're in, in, in a straight line. Okay, what I had to do was take and um, I needed to get the front wheels up off the ground. And once I did that, I was able to uh, go on and take my outer tie rod in. I um, took it and moved back my, um, my wheels were coming. Um, one point they were both facing in. And then after I turn my tie rod in, uh, I had to turn my tie rods out this way. And I, I kept watching my wheels. I had to go back and forth from the back to the front, trying to make sure that they were they were lined up. But my wheels, at one point, they were facing uh, inward uh, just a little too much. And then I, I over. Uh, turned my tie wires and they were facing out too much. 
and I was able to get them um, facing straight down just by having both front wheels up off the ground and that just at my tie rod ends and once I did that I, um, I went to the rear then I um, kind of stood off kind of laid and looked at them this way to see if they were straight and I was able to maneuver both tires at the same time and see if they were lined up just by, just by eyeing them and once I put it back on the ground and tightened everything up and drove it the squeaking was gone but I still needed to get my alignment um, have a, it, it's important if, if, if it's possible to get the lifetime alignment um, deal that they offer at different places well I know they do at first when they offer the lifetime alignment and if you get that you're good to go if you're going to uh, need to replace your inner tie rod outer tie rod and your wheels are off at least you can adjust them to make it to the shop but this particular day I had to get to work and I didn't want to drive wearing my tires out and hearing all this noise at the same time so this is what I did to uh, hack this problem